welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new Primark haul today I have been shopping to the Manchester City Centre one which I always rave about I can honestly say it is such a good Primark especially the homeware section so much so that I've ended up spending the most I have ever spent in Primark in one occasion on one trip so I've spent about 300 pounds which is a lot for Primark. Um, I've got loads of clothes. I'm gonna start with the fashion items. I've tried everything on already so I can talk you through the fit. I'll show you the try on clips and then I'm gonna jump into the homeware, which for me is hands down the showstopper. It's incredible, so stay tuned for that. So without further ado, make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink. Let's get into the haul. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. It would really, really help out with my channel, my growth, and being able to continue to do videos like this for you guys. Okay, so if you know Manchester Primark, if you think of the Friends Cafe that they've got downstairs, there's a changing room right next to it, then there's the tills. Right by that changing room, there's a one pound rail along with loads of other surrounding rail racks throughout the store which had loads of sale items but this one pound rack one pound so i picked up five items from the one pound rail <laughs> so the first one is a summery dress my first spring summer item of the season like a true spring summer item it is this gorgeous white frilly lace dress so I remember this from last year hence why it's probably in the sale but I just think it's so pretty it's such a lovely fabric and from the waist down it is double lined there's loads of little frilly details now there was only one size left in this that is the only thing with the one pound rail it's usually just like one-off pieces um so it was a 14 however having said that having tried it on I actually wouldn't have gone for a smaller size anyway so that's perfect so this was originally £15, been reduced to the bargain price of £1, £1, singular. And then this also was on the rail. There were actually a few of these. They only had one size left though, an extra small. Having tried it on, again, it does fit because of the knit fabric it is quite stretchy. It's just a lovely little vest. However, I would have definitely gone for a small or medium in this one had they have had it. I think I remember this being part of a matching set with uh, sort of lounge trousers in this same fabric, which I would have loved the full set. Nevertheless, I paired this with jeans. I think it's a lovely kind of spring knit, just, you know, on those cooler days where you want a bit more of a warmer knit, but it's still quite sunny. So you've got like your arms out. I just thought it looked really nice with jeans. And then this one also is only in an extra small they had. Um, but it does fit actually and because it's a cropped jumper I wore it with jeans like I wouldn't wear it oversized with leggings or anything anyway it is super stretchy the fabric of this knit it's a oatmeal color for one pound can't believe it this one was reduced from 13 pounds then I got this beautiful kind of satiny cream shirt I thought this looked lovely paired with jeans but equally maybe for an evening maybe with some leather leather pants I thought it could look quite nice I really like the relaxed fit of this again I only was able to get my hands on one size which happened to be a 14 it was reduced from 13 pounds full price and then last but not least from the one pound rail it was ticketed at two pounds from 11 pounds however when I took it to the till it did ring up as one pound so that was fine and then this is in a UK 12 they actually had loads of sizes of this one as well um I was going to pick up the 10 but I thought the 12 would just be a slightly better fit because of the sort of the shoulder pads and everything so I'm thinking this again tucked in to jeans as just a nice top and jeans kind of outfit maybe throw on some black heels as well black bag for an evening but a bit more casual with the jeans so yeah that is everything that i got from the one pound bargain section now for some new in bits firstly the jeans that i picked up in a uk 10 these are a beautiful fit i honestly think primark do the best jeans i always do the stretchability test in stores so if it's a stretchy fabric i feel like i know i'm gonna like it and it's gonna be comfortable if it's a really stiff denim that's where i usually struggle with jeans so these are 11 pounds full price which i think is a good price point because usually their jeans are 13 to 15 pounds they're classed as the slim straight high waist made using recycled cotton i got this beautiful vest i really really like this 
it's in a large again they had all sizes they didn't have an extra large which i would have gone for because um i would have liked this to just be that little bit looser on the bottom having said you know just to wear it more as like maybe a, a dress with a shirt a white shirt underneath um having said that they didn't have an extra large so i did get the biggest size of large at 14 to 16. It, this was 12 pounds, a beautiful knit. I love a knit vest leading into spring. Next up, I got a little bit of color. This was 12, no, it was 13 pounds. I got it in a size 12. They had this in a pink as well. I personally preferred the blue, so that's what I opted for. Now, I wasn't sure in store whether or not I'd be able to get away with this as a dress. Potentially a beach dress over a bikini, but this slit on the side does make it quite short. So in this instance, I did pair it with jeans for the try-on so you could see what it looks like. You could do a little half tuck, you could leave it completely untucked, wear it quite long and loose and oversized, which I quite like that look. It's kind of like painter shirt stuff, very relaxed and undone. And then next up, I got a little linen style vest, I'm going to say, because it's, I don't think it is linen. It's a high neck, super simple cream vest. I thought this would look so classy and chic, minimal, just paired with maybe some tailored trousers in the summer. I love the neckline of this. You could layer it up with some chunky gold jewellery. Got it in a size 10 and it was only £9. He was actually just putting these out, so I know that they are brand new in and there was plenty of them next up i got a white shirt this was from the beachwear section so i guess designed as a beach dress or a summer dress i did try it on as a dress with sandals and nude underwear and it seems okay i mean if you pulled it tight you'd probably be able to see your underwear but because it's quite a loose fit style i mean i got a size small 10 to 12 so stay true to size 15 pounds with some sort of slider sandals and a nice kind of my new Chloe bag maybe. I also got these cycle shorts in a small at £3.50. I thought these would be lovely for spring summer with just like oversized t-shirts. I like the um, Zara ones because I actually have the black Zara ones. In fact, I think these ones are nicer quality. They feel a bit thicker. They had a few different colors. Black's most practical for me. So that is the one that I went for. The last of the clothing items now, apart from like a few underwear bits and bobs. The most expensive thing I bought at 25 pounds. I picked it up in a 12. It's a double breasted blazer and it's quite a thick fabric. I feel like this would be nice to wear from now leading into spring. I love the fact that the tortoiseshell buttons are a light tortoiseshell. The only other blazer that I have in this colour has dark buttons, which I don't mind, but I prefer the lighter coloured ones. So it's a nice shoulder padded, really great quality, well worth the £25, which I know when sort of things get to 25 30 plus in Primark, they're definitely on the higher end. I do think they're better made. And I do feel like you have to go to the bigger stores to be able to find those nicer pieces. Same with the homeware. Okay, I did get, I suppose, some more clothing in the form of pajamas. I figured I'd pick these two sets up. They're both quite lightweight, but long. So still, um, well, good for now, really, because it still gets a little bit chilly here. I mean, we're still in winter, so. Are we still in winter for another couple of weeks? Um, but anyway, this was from the wellness section. I thought this was beautiful. It was priced at 14 pounds. I got it in a large, which is 14 to 16. It comes like wrapped with this little jute ribbon. So I think these would make a lovely little gift as well. Feels super soft and the actual pajamas themselves, I'll show you. They've got a stripe design. So a kind of Victoria's Secret style stripe you might not be able to see on camera actually because it might be a bit too bright with the um ring light but yeah that is what the shirt looks like and then these are the bottoms the drawstring does tie all the way in so yeah size up in these if you want to go for comfort and actually to you know sleep in them but these are just the bottoms nice and wide legs so comfortable and i got these ones because they are very much a white company dupe now i actually have the white company ones. I might even do a little comparison over on TikTok because I quite like sharing some dupes over on there. So this feels just like my white company ones. It's the same style as the white company ones. It's £12, which is a fraction of the price. I think the white company ones are about 50 to £80. Again, in the wellness section, I spotted this set of underwear. I have the similar version already in the white that they do, but the bottoms are a brief style, whereas these are a thong. And these are so comfortable, they're so soft, they're perfect for that kind of 
Sunday day or even if you like to sleep in underwear I personally don't but if you do these are very breathable super soft and lightweight and they're seven pounds for the set sized up to a 12 to 14 in these because again that is my intention is wearing these on comfy days now I've got a bikini I have no holidays planned <laughs> I definitely need to book one. I actually was speaking to Sean about it last night. We we're thinking maybe like somewhere in Italy in May, maybe, who knows? Anyway, I picked up a bikini in this beautiful cream color. I saw that they do these like high-waisted briefs with a little matching strapless top. Briefs look nice and supportive. They're a ribbed kind of texture as well, four pounds. I did get a 12 in the bottoms. I got a 10 in the top and the top was six pounds, which does come with a removable padding in. Oh, and then I've just spotted this in the bag as well. It's a little uh, strap that you can pop with the bikini top. I also picked up some new socks, some cozy socks and some kind of everyday socks that I like to wear this kind of a style with my UGG Ultra Minis. I thought these were beautiful colors as well, by the way. How nice are these? So you've got like a taupe mushroom color a creamy colour and then an oatmeal colour. I love these. These were £3.50. Then I also got these cosy socks at four euros it says but it's probably about the same price anyway. Um, cream and again the kind of darker beige taupe colour. Then I picked up this set of sandals again thinking ahead for spring summer. I thought these were great dupes for the Hermes sliders and I think June do like a mid-range price point for these sliders. Primark, doing for six quid, so I couldn't resist. Okay, we've made it to my favorite section, the homeware section. I'm gonna start with this beautiful cushion, which I got. It's got these frilled detail edging, very much like the H&M home ones that they did. And they're even in this gorgeous linen texture. They did have them in white as well. I went for the beige just because I think this material is nicer in a beige stone kind of color as opposed to white however white's obviously beautiful as well i picked up the one at nine pounds i thought this would go nice on our sofa i'm going to switch out some of our cushions however i do think these would be lovely on a bed oh should i have got two and then i also picked up this hand towel they had these in face mitten type cloths which i've already got one in my bathroom and they also had them in the large bath towels um, at £12, this hand towel was £5. I thought this would look lovely like in a downstairs loo or a spare bathroom. It's a beautiful kind of waffled texture and again in that gorgeous stone. The off-white I just think looks a little bit nicer than a stark white because white you can get anywhere. But a nice beige like that, there's dust particles in the air from that. I also got, speaking of beige, a nice throw. This one was alongside those frill cushions. It's kind of a matching style if you wanted to do a bedspread with it but I again think this would look lovely on our sofa I constantly use throws on our sofa with having a golden retriever and a black sofa that eventually we're going to get rid of once we've renovated downstairs so for now I just loads of throws bung them in the wash nice and easy and I just thought this one was lovely so the little frill details and it comes wrapped in a ribbon which I love again would make a lovely little gift actually 20 pounds this one was we needed a sieve ours broke not too long ago and I thought this one looked lovely it was only four pounds and it comes with the little kind of mango wood or acacia wood that dark wood that is very in, very Zara home. You'll see a few more pieces with it throughout this haul. But yeah, I just thought that was lovely. This is for the kitchen for cleaning. It's a two pack of cellulose sponges. They are just like cleaning sponges, but I love the texture of these. I think they'd look nice out as well. This is a bit random, but this is the last thing that I found and grabbed it and popped it in my basket. It's a little stationery set. They had some amazing stationery. I just opted for the one piece of, or one set of stationery on this occasion, but this was only three pounds. How is this three pounds? It comes with a gorgeous cream notebook, just a plain lined notebook. But then you also get in here a little set of a cream and gold pen, a pencil with the pencil sharpener and rubber, and a wooden ruler as well. I think for three quid, that is just amazing. And again, a lovely little set for a stationary lover for like a birthday gift or something. I wish they brought these things out before Christmas as a good little stocking filler gift ideas. But anyway, oh, look 
me talking about Christmas already and we're in March. <laughs> oh God, I've even bought some Christmas goods. <laughs> they had quite a few Christmas bits reduced. So I bought some more incense. I think these were reduced. I mean, full price, they're a pound. And I think they were maybe like 50p or something. But Winter Spice and Woodland are the scents. And Tom uses incense up in his room and I love it. Whenever I go upstairs to his office and I walk in and I can smell it, I'm always jealous that he's got incense burning up there. So I might get myself a little incense burner and pop one in here or in our bedroom, I think would be lovely. Also, I picked up some more. I found this one, they do loads now. I found this one in amber and again, full price, one pound, absolute bargain. And then I got a set of the Relax Cedarwood ones. These are in a tube and they are two pounds. You get 20 in here. Although having said that, you do get 20 in the other sets as well. So anyway, it's in an ice tube. That is, I think, all the incense that I got. Okay, I also picked up this from the kitchen section. It's a two set of an oil and vinegar dispenser at nine pounds. I kind of wish they were both this creamier color, but regardless, I thought they looked nice side by side. So I picked them up anyway. They even do loads of cleaning products now, like detergents, washing up liquids. So I got this, this is a bed linen spray. It was £2.50 and they had pillow mist. They had some other bits as well in different scents as well. This one is in the balance scent with Clary Sage and White Lily. And then I did also pick up the washing up liquid. This one was £2.50 as well, super affordable. This one's in Eucalyptus and Yuzu fragrance. I think I'm really gonna like that. Let's just give it a whiff, shall we? Oh yeah, that's lovely. How is that a washing up liquid? <laughs> Seeing as though we're talking home fragrance, two reed diffusers of which they do this new style now, which is far nicer than the style that they do in the boxes because the boxes are lovely in the packaging but when you actually open those reed diffusers they're fairly basic to be honest with you they are a lot cheaper though these ones are priced at nine pounds each but having said that the aesthetic and the look of them for me i'd rather pay more and have a nicer look to them rather than having to like kind of hide an ugly looking reed diffuser i just think these are beautiful they had a couple of other scents they had a vanilla one in a black bottle this one's linen in a brown amber glass and then this one's cotton in a clear one they also had some huge ones in i think there was a frosted eucalyptus and something other which i nearly bought i don't know i just thought that's kind of festive christmasy so i just went with the good old cotton and linen for bedrooms i think they'll they'll be lovely the reeds for the cotton are like a natural color and then the reeds for the linen are black although having said that if you wanted to switch that up they do sell just individual reeds for i think 50p or something they do black ones and natural ones as well and then i spotted the holy grail the diptyque dupe that they do they are beautiful they are expensive. I will have one one day, I will own one, but for now, I think the Primark one looks so lovely. It's definitely one that because it's far more affordable at 10 pounds, you can burn it and actually make use of the lovely fragrance of which this one is in green tea. But if you can see the embossing on the front and that kind of design, it's a very diptyque style. If you know what I mean, if you know diptyque candles, I think they had some um, other scents as well. They had like a fig one, which diptyque again do have fig tree. And then not so glamorous, I picked up a toilet brush. So I do have a toilet brush in my bathroom, but the spare bathroom that we've got just has like a really cheap one that I got from Tesco's ages ago. And I thought this one, although I do need to screw the brush back on, but... I thought this one looked lovely. It's in a stone, matte stone color at six pounds. I just think this will go really nice. This one would actually go really nice in my bathroom because my tiles are this kind of stone color. But anyway, six pounds, love that. Back in the kitchen section, I found this little dipping bowl at one pound. They did have some sets of dipping bowls as well, like sets of three in different colors. I just quite liked the ceramic finish and it's kind of like a hammered texture to this little dipping bowl with maybe some um or like a pinch pot you know with some salt or something one pound and i also picked up this chopping board from the kitchen section it's seven pounds and again that kind of rustic feel to it i think these look lovely way more expensive than a primark i mean primark poundland budget shops you'd expect them to just be a very box standard basic wooden chopping board but the actual wood finish of this very rustic 
looks far more expensive, a bit more farmhouse style. In fact, I even got a bowl as well, which I'll show you in a sec, but I got this set of baskets. That's another section that they now have a huge row of, is different kind of seagrass baskets, wicker baskets. I didn't have enough hands on me. I feel like we need big Primarks at shopping complexes that you can go around with a trolley. The furniture that they now sell in store, they have some amazing rattan chairs, huge big mirrors, but how are you meant to carry them? Especially in a city centre store through Manchester. It's just impossible. Got this three pack of Hessian vegetable bags. They were nine pounds for the set of three. You've got potatoes, one that says onions, and then lastly, one that is for garlic. I did get up Barney a little toy from the pet section. Again, they're introducing more and more pet things, I've noticed. So at three pounds, a little, um, I love green. I've even got him like this green lead and collar with a little green barber bandana. I just think green suits him. So I got him a little green toy. Next up, I got this glass cloche. Now I thought, how good, they wrap everything up. Too many breakables. It does take a lot longer at checkout though, I will say that. £3.50 I thought was so affordable for this. It's just a plain glass cloche that I personally like to have over candles. What else could you use a glass cloche for? Let me know. Last bag from the Primark home section. This is the wooden bowl that I mentioned. So again, goes lovely with the chopping board. It's just a beautiful colour. I really, really like it. And this was £13. Well worth the extra money to be able to get this kind of a rustic look and finish to it than just like a real orangey, cheaper looking wood. So I'm thinking of this with some fruit in, fruit bowl in the kitchen, I think would be lovely. But also I've seen on Pinterest these wooden bowls that you can have like in a bathroom with sort of a soap in or a um, like some flannels and kind of dress up, maybe some bath salts and it looks lovely. I don't think I've got a space for it in any of our bathrooms because they're quite small. But if I had a big bathroom, I think that would look lovely. Then I also got for the kitchen this set of colander and bowls. You get a set of two in here for five pounds. You get the cream colored colander. I quite like the fact they stack easily for storage in the cupboards. You get the cream colander and then the bowl, which would be ideal for a mixing bowl, is in a kind of corally nude colour. Yet again, another wooden item in this beautiful wooden rustic finish it is a bottle opener this time. This was £2, so affordable and so lovely. I mean, there's nothing really much else to say about that other than, can you hear the builders outside? <laughs> We're mid-renovation, I'm sure most of you are aware, so... I feel like at this point you just got to excuse the building noises going on in the background. Okay, next up I picked up a mug. I thought this was very Zara Home, £3.50. I mean, everything I feel like they're basing off is Zara Home products. But the rustic kind of feel to this, I feel like this is going to make a lovely kind of hot chocolate, loads of whipped cream on the top. Not the most practical of mugs to drink from, but definitely one that looks lovely. £3.50 is a steal. I also got this from the kitchen. So kitchen section was clearly my favourite. I got this bowl, which comes with a handle. So it's like a giant mug, perfect for soup, easy lunch. It's got the lid on top that you can pop it in the microwave. Then I got this bowl, which is kind of the matching bowl to this mug. They had some plates as well, but I just picked up this bowl because we don't really have any kind of cereal bowls like this. We have square ones, which I don't like eating cereal out of. So £3.50 this one was. Then I got this glass uh, candle stick. They had another lovely ribbed one, but that felt very flimsy. It was more expensive as well. Whereas this is like solid glass, it's four pounds. You can maybe get one of each, but yeah, the other one felt very thin and like it was gonna smash on route home. The last item that I have to share with you is this. Very H&M home, like the typical donut vases or random shaped ornaments like this that they have on their website at six pounds this one was. I love the shape of it, love the color. The top part is kind of like a cream and the base is more of a beige and I'm impressed. So this is the last item that I picked up from H&M. 
from Primark. I hope you guys have enjoyed this lengthy haul. Do give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please, please do subscribe for more. I would love to hit that 100,000 subscriber at some point this year. That would just make my year, it'd be amazing. So if you haven't already, I can see in the background that 65% of you haven't yet subscribed. It really, really would mean the world. So thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me all this way if you have. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.